Hey guys, so today is my meal prep house cleaning day and I wanted to show you guys a few tricks to my trade that I've learned um, and another thing that has changed uh, since dealing with uh, problems in my spine is uh, I had to cut my hair. I used to keep it pretty long um, because I have very curly hair and I have to fix it so um, short hair isn't my favorite. But if you do prefer, you know, if you do end up doing something similar, get a ball cap. It helped. So one of the things that helps me, um, again, I get up and do the housework that I need to um, when I first get up. So one of the things that we got is a basket with a wheel. And obviously, if you do have a hard time being upright like this or walking as easy as I can when I'm doing okay, that might still be an issue for you. Again, these are just tips. Um, something else I do to help me get my laundry done is my trusty walker. I use that to push around even bulky things that make it hard on my back for my upper back to carry. So I do use that. Um, so it is time for me to get dishes done because who wants to cook? and have a dirty, you know, who likes to start cooking while they've already got a dirty sink. So it may not look like much, but for a chronic pain patient, it is quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get that stuff done. But again, what's the point in putting dirty dishes on a dirty counter? So another product that I use are these, the disinfectant wipes. Um, I started using those when COVID hit because it just made more sense to make sure that all the germs are good. Um, I've already wiped down the counter and I wait for it to dry. Um, that way the chemical doesn't get on my clean dishes. So another thing that does help is the Instapot. We have this one and this is the one that I use to do eggs for my husband, myself, or even share with the dog. Um, and then, you know, as I you know, go, I do take my regular breaks. Um, the Roomba robot, I can't display today because it is not, it's clogged up and I let my husband do that. However, one of the reasons that I do, oh, this is difficult. Oh, it is clogged up so it doesn't want to move. Um, but another reason why, you know, normally I would use my remote, which is right here to direct it and tell it what I want it to do. And that way I can, you know, it's got the remotes on them are wonderful because you can just use the remote, sit down and tell it what you want to do. So normally I would start it, get it going, but it is again clogged and I would shut the door and let it do its thing. The main reason I do that is because my little sidekick hates all of my equipment that I need to use the house, which is another reason he's not in here. It terrifies him. He is five years old. I've tried working with him. He just won't come to it. And it's just not something he really cares to do. So yes, just like all vacuums, the Roomba robot will get clogged. Um, but that is one area that I am blessed in is to you know, my husband does know how to repair things very well and does that all the time. Um, another tip I would like to share, I do have to go sit down because I've been trying to get these videos up, but I'm new to this, so bear with me. Um, I don't have the technology that a lot of people do to get videos up on YouTube. Um, but another thing is that I am blessed that I do have friends and family that are willing to help. And they do help with a lot of meal prep. Not everybody has this, which is why I'm trying to show the trades that I've learned throughout the years. Um, however, if you are a chronic pain patient and you have had um, offers to help you, take it. There's nothing wrong. No one, Nobody can get through this without help through any part of life. Um, so if you do have people who have offered it, um, like my friends and family that do participate, we can transfer the money, they'll go buy it and prep it, and we even use the um, containers like the cool up containers or even save other containers that, you know, like you would get your frozen foods in. Um, keep those because they do come in handy when you do have people who do want to help you. Again, if you've had the offers, 
don't be too proud to accept it, okay? There's nothing wrong with getting a little bit of help. There's nothing wrong for asking for help. And believe me, I'm a fan of, hey, I need help. I can't do this. Um, but that does, you know, take practice and take time to be able to allow people to be able to help you. Um, but again, not everybody has that option. Not everybody has friends or family that are willing to help. So I do plan on showing that. Um, I do need to sit down and take a breath for a moment because I have been doing quite a bit already. Um, but when I get started on the meal preps, I'll show you guys what I do. And I do these for the week. Um, I get them started, get them in the oven, go rest, and that way I can do more. And the hardest part for me is the chopping because my shoulders do hurt from a recent surgery. Um, I've had six back surgeries in five years. That's a lot, and I've got more waiting. So anyways, again, these are just tips to help, you know, others that do struggle get through their daily lives, and not everybody has the help. So this is, you know, mainly for those people. Um, you know, do it at your own time. You know, I'm not opposed to, if I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm not opposed to doing chores when I'm awake and when I feel my best. Um, that, you know, all depends on the person. It all depends on who you are and what your schedule is and what your um, limitations are. Another thing I would like to offer, if you have carpet, this is a little harder, but even get your desk chair or get a desk chair where you can roll and push yourself around and or get your seated walker so you can use that to take with you. And believe me, I've had to use my walker um, in order to get chores done. And in the event that I can't stand, um, I mentioned this in another video, I don't know if I posted it, I'll have to double check. But one of the things I do, I do have a small house, I love it that way, it's easier to keep up. Get your, chicken, your kitchen chair and push it over to your seat. My table's getting cut. I like to do this so I can sit down. It makes doing dishes so much easier. Um, it is, you know, it is kind of a nuisance in a way, but you got to do it how you got to do it. So anyways, there's more tips. Um, I will post more later. Um, but, you know, my ultimate goal is to be a chronic pain advocate. And that is something that I've wanted to do for quite some time. I just, you know, I can't get out. And doing stuff this public isn't exactly, you know, my preferred method, um, but it's what I got. So, anyways, none of us can get through this alone, and, you know, we all do need help every now and then. So, if this helps you, great. If it doesn't, okay. These are just ideas. Figure out your own. See what works for you. And you guys have a great Sunday, and God bless.